Hey, what's up guys? My name is Taylor Cowan. Um, you might notice I'm on the bathroom floor right now. That's because my experiment can get a little bit messy, um, depending upon some items that you use. But anyway, um, you'll see later. My experiment is, uh, I like to call it tie-dye milk. And uh, what we're going to be looking at today is different uh, chemical uh, bonds and reactions and seeing, and seeing how they work together. Um, we'll be using all standard household stuff, you know, safe experiments. So, um, the things you're going to need, we'll start with uh, some kind of a laminated plate. I'm using a uh, Albertsons brand uh, plate. Um, you need it to be laminated, you can't have it be paper. Uh, if it's paper, then the uh, liquids we'll be using will absorb in here and then it'll just be a mess. Another reason why I'm on a bathroom, tiled bathroom floor. The next thing you'll need is a bunch of food dye coloring. I bought these as a set. Um, got blue, yellow, <clears throat> red, and green. After that, you will need some form of uh, cotton swab. I'm using Q-tips. Um, I highly recommend using Q-tips for this. Very, uh, very easy to do with a Q-tip. Next thing is you will need uh, dish soap. I'm using an off-brand called Lemon Bright. You can use Dawn, any other, you know, any dish, dish, dish soap like this. So, next thing you'll need is any kind of milk. I'm using 2%. You can use, you know, skim or whole or any other milk. It'll work. Uh, all the same, uh, different milk has uh, different, uh, slightly different effects. All right, so let's hop into our procedure. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a paper plate, that you laminate your plate, and you are going to place it flat on the ground. Next, we're going to fill the plate with a layer of milk. And this is why I like I like doing it on the bathroom floor. If I spill milk, easy cleanup. Um, also, when you're done with the experiment, uh, trying to get you know the milk away is it can, you can spill. So um, that's why I like doing it on the floor. So we're just gonna pour milk in here. Just gonna pour a you know a layer covers the whole at least the whole bottom. There we go. That's more than enough. Okay. The next thing you're gonna do. Uh, we're going to put a few drops of each kind of dye right here in the center. So I'm going to bring you closer to that. So we're going to take a few drops of dye and put them close to the middle. I'm going to make like a little kind of square formation. Um, you'll notice that the dye starts to fan out a little bit. That's okay. Um, different kinds of milk will have different uh, tension and so it will have different effects on how you put the dye in. Put a few in there. That's yellow. And then we got red. See that the blue is a very dominating color. And we got the green. Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take that Q tip, boom, and we're going to dip it in the lemon bright. Just get the, uh, just get the tip, the, the tip uh, covered with soap. So see, I got the, the tip covered with soap here. Now the next thing that we'd be doing is we'd be putting the Q-tip into the milk, right here in the center. Um, but before we do that, uh, I want to see what you guys would think. Do you, what, what do you think will happen once I put the Q-tip in the milk? And uh, why do you think that is? Um, you know, what's, what, what's the reaction that we got going on here? So go ahead and pause the video if you want and generate a few hypotheses or something and uh, then we'll start. So I'm either assuming you've just been watching me or you actually made, made a hypothesis, but let's continue on. So I'm going to take the Q-tip, still got it covered with uh, the soap, and you can still see that I got the dye in the milk here, and I'm just going to put the Q-tip right in the center of the dye. See how it's rolling? And the color keeps going and going and going. It's coming up here again. You see that? Why do you think that is? If it's a chemical reaction, what's going on with the chemicals? I can take it out. It stops. Put it back in. Keeps going. Now let's go to my 24-7, which we'll take back to my desk. All right, so now we're back in my desk for my 24-7. Uh, for the first part, we have my 24, so time. When we first put the food dye in the milk, yeah, the surface tension keeps the dye from mixing in with the rest of the milk. Then when we add a drop of soap, 
the cohesive bonds that are holding the dye away from the milk break and the dye is allowed to enter the milk. Secondly, the soap will then break protein bonds within the milk, sending them flying around inside the milk. And that's why we see the dye moving. It's all the different protein molecules mixing with the dye molecules. So now for my seven word finish. Chemical bonds can break and form violently.